Jay Fishman has been chairman and CEO of Travelers for more than a decade. He has built the company into one of the largest providers of property and casualty insurance in the United States. Earlier this year, he was diagnosed with ALS, known as Lou Gehrig's disease. On December 1st, he will step down as CEO and remain as Travelers as executive chairman. This, this whole so-called voice banking, how does that work? Again, talk about bumping into things. Uh, my son forwarded to me an article from the Boston Globe talking about a fellow at Boston Children's Hospital, John Costello, who's a communications specialist, who, when you still have your voice, you get a microphone, relatively inexpensive, and you record phrases. And, and the early, kind of the 1.0 version of this is you record MP3 phrases. A good morning, honey, how are you? And then subsequently using an eye tracker computer, you can trigger those phrases, pretty basic stuff. And instead of the voice coming out as Darth Vader, it comes out as you. And and so that's sort of the early stage of it. And John is a, he's a, talk about another committed, passionate guy. It's moving now to where you can begin to bank words and the technology is good enough to link the words together. My life for the last 40 years has been with, with a purpose, with a mission. I was never going to be someone who was going to retire and, and, and go wear uh, Bermuda shorts and play golf. It, even if I had my health, that wasn't going to be me. So I was, I was going to be engaged. So now I'm engaged in this mission and I get to meet different kinds of wonderful people like Jeff, like John Costello. Uh, it, these, are, these are people with deep personal professional these commitment. These are people who are working for something be, that's bigger than they are. You bet. Bigger than their Look, personal I, I, ambition. So this is really what I, I, and I tell them all the time, being the patient isn't so easy. Being the doc isn't so easy either because you got to deliver the news. It's difficult news and you got to do it in a way so that the patient doesn't leave devastated. So the human aspects of delivering this diagnosis to people and how to help them through it. You got, you got what time you have left. What do you want to do with it? And, and so I, I admire, I admire their engagement because it's a tough field. Is there part of you?